Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. We have some Madden 21 news, uh, more specifically some ratings that were released, as well as the 499 overall players uh, that joined. I, I know that recently there was a release of the top 10 quarterbacks, which I'm going to go over in this video, uh, but there also were the nine, all the 99 players have been either leaked or released by EA. Who really knows how that stuff goes about? But ultimately, I'm going to tell you those 99 players right now in this video, as well as some players that I think probably should have gotten that or maybe been considered uh, as well as I'm going to go over these top 10 quarterbacks and tell you what I think about their ratings. So starting off quickly, we're going to go over the 99 overall players because one of them is also part of the top 10 quarterbacks and that's Patrick Mahomes. He's the number one quarterback in the game. There's no real surprise by that. I mean, the guy just signed a $500 million, half a billion dollar contract. So if he doesn't have a 99 in this game by now, that's a crying shame. I mean, the guy's done everything. He's MVP of the league uh, recently. He's won the Super Bowl. There's no reason to not give this guy 99 overall. That's a no-brainer. The other 99 overalls were not on the quarterback's list. Uh, one who I really thought should have been on it, which was Christian McCaffrey, actually got a 99 overall. I'm pretty surprised. Um, I mean, he's an amazing receiver as well as an amazing running back. I think it's well deserved to get a 99 overall you really have to do two things you have to be a hot commodity uh to get that perfect 99 you also have to be consistent you have to have a consistency to get a 99 overall rating so patrick mahomes christian mccaffrey those guys have been doing it at a very high level for a couple years so that's not surprising the other two are on the defensive side uh which is aaron donald who won he was a 99 overall the last couple years he's won two defensive mvps out of the last three years and then the player that won defensive mvp last year uh stephen gilmore now stephen and Gilmore that one's a little bit of a surprise to me because I don't think the highest rated cornerback in the last couple years even came close to a 99 so for him to jump right to a 99 it's a little bit surprising based off of the fact that they haven't really given a they, they haven't really anointed a, a cornerback to that point in in, in, a, in a couple years probably since you know the last time I can remember a 99 quarterback might be like Charles Woodson or Champ Bailey I don't, I'm Darrell Revis something like that like those are guys once you get a 99 overall cornerback that guy should be an absolute shutdown cornerback and I think that Stephen Gilmore pretty much is that but it's still surprising uh, to see that you know it just it just seems like they really didn't go there <laughs> you know what I mean like they haven't really given uh, cornerbacks that high of a rating in a very long time so it's pretty cool to see that and I think that's going to definitely you know now you have a cornerback who can lock down a side should lock down a side no matter who receive what receiver he's facing uh, because you know no receivers reach the 99 club no uh, DeAndre Hopkins is not a 99 no uh, you know Antonio Brown's the pro I don't even know if he's in the game or what his rating is but I think that's really cool so those are the only two 99 or 99s on defense if I had to say if to me if I had to say if there's any other guys capable of a 99 the ones that jump out and if you have any of your own thoughts you guys you think should be 99s make sure to leave them in the comment section but the ones that jump out that didn't get a 99 that I think could have are guys like Lamar Jackson. I think he could have been a 99. Uh, he got a 94. I'll go over him in a minute. Uh, but I mean, after the year he just had, it wouldn't have surprised me. It would have been cool. He's a cover athlete. A lot of times they get a little bit of extra love as well. And then I think there are a couple running backs that could have got 99s. This isn't really a running back game anymore. It's not really a running back league. But Saquon Barkley to me is an amazing player. He's an unbelievable talent. If he was a 99, I wouldn't cry. He's had some really good years. Uh, last year he was injured for a little bit, which I think might be part of the reason. Uh, and his team's not very good. I mean, those things. He'll probably be the second highest rated running back, or he'll be very high. They haven't released that yet. But I would imagine he's like a 97 or something like that anyway. Uh, Russell Wilson's another guy. He's number two on the quarterbacks list that we're looking at now. Um, he has a 97 overall. Uh, I don't know what that guy has to do. I mean, he's not the best quarterback in the league. I mean, he's very close. But obviously, Patrick Mahomes is head and shoulders above everybody else. Uh, but Russell Wilson, I don't know how much more consistent and spectacular you have to be for him to get a 99. What does he have to do to actually get a 99? I would think if he wins the Super Bowl this year, he wins Super Bowl MVP or something like that, uh, wins MVP, then he get a 99. Uh, but he's a guy that if you would have gave him a 99, I don't think anybody would have cried about it. And then Lamar Jackson, like I said earlier, he's number three uh, with a 94 overall. Um, like I said, I think he could have been 99 and nobody would have cried. Another couple of 99 guys, I mean, after the year that Derrick Henry had last year, especially in the postseason, uh, if he had a 99, I think that would have been a bit off. 
uh, because he's not really a great receiver. I mean, when you look at Christian McCaffrey, his receiving ability is really what helps. That's a big part of the game now. And his receiving ability definitely is a big portion of why he's a 9 and overall. Uh, but, I mean, the way the, the way that Derrick Henry played last year, he took the NFL by storm, and he was unbelievable in the playoffs. So if he had a 99, I think it's another one that could have been good. Uh, George Kittle is a guy who I think could have had a 99, uh, considering that he's a, uh, you know, I mean, he, he's one of the best blocking tight ends in the game, and he's one of the most explosive receiving tight ends uh, maybe the game's ever seen. He's got to be close. Uh, his, his rating hasn't been released yet, but he's somebody I'm going to be watching for uh, to see where he's at. And that's probably about it in my mind, off the top of my head. I mean, you got guys like Bobby Wagner is probably the best linebacker in the game now that, uh, you know, Luke Keekley retired. Um, you know, that's those, those are probably the guys that come to mind that could be 99s or should be very close but we're gonna continue with this quarterback list so next up we got drew Brees. we get a couple of guys here that i think are kind of getting honorary ratings at this point uh drew Brees a 93 overall even though he's also 93 years old uh, and he's probably going to retire soon these guys i think they all kind of should be treated the same way that aaron Rodgers is treated down at number six number five we have tom brady coming in at 90 overall he sure did not play that very play very well last year um, and that's not a surprise. A lot of it had to do with the fact that um, they didn't have a lot of weapons for him in, uh, in you know, in New England. I think that their offense was a little devoid of weapons. Uh, but he's a guy that I think should be a little lower rated. And then Aaron Rodgers, for whatever reason, everybody talks about his ability. Um, you know, he's still an amazing athlete. He's a great, you know, he's one of the most talented quarterbacks ever. But for some reason, he keeps getting discounted in the ratings. And I know last year the, t- the team didn't really revolve around him. It revolved around Aaron Jones and his spectacular season. But ultimately, I think that Aaron Rodgers, um, you know, he should, I think all three of those guys should kind of be in that same category. Older older quarterbacks aren't as good as they used to be, but I still have Aaron Rodgers. I still take Aaron Rodgers ahead of both of them, in my opinion. Two years ago, Aaron Rodgers was a 99 overall, and how he dropped so fast is beyond me. Uh, number seven, we got Matt Ryan. 87 overall, still a really good quarterback. I can't say he's too high or low, but I do think that Deshaun Watson at number eight should be higher, should be ahead of every guy I just mentioned. Uh, he should probably be number four in my book. He had a great year last year, and he's an amazing player. Talent, all that stuff. But young guys got to work their way up, I guess. Uh, but ultimately, you know, Watson, to me, he should be ahead of, of the older quarterbacks I just mentioned and should probably be sitting around number four behind Lamar Jackson. I also think that number nine, or tied for number nine, I should say, because they're joined at the hip, Dak Prescott. Scott and Carson Wentz. Apparently, these two guys, um, they just can't break free of one another. I don't know why. I mean, they got Dak Prescott ahead of him in the listing here, but they're both rated 84. 84. Carson Wentz and Dak Prescott both at an 84. I think they should both be a little bit higher too, but I do think that Carson Wentz last year pulled away by one, winning the division, and by two, uh, I mean, he beat Dak to win the division, and by two, I mean, he did it with nothing around him. So I think that, to me, he should be a point or two ahead of Dak Prescott. I'd have both of those guys uh, you know, maybe a little bit higher than, like I said, all the older quarterbacks. It's to the point now where I think that they should. I mean, how's Drew Brees having 93? He barely played last year yeah i mean he only played like it feels like he played half the season he was out half the season um so it's to the point where i mean the team doesn't even revolve around him anymore michael thomas by the way that's another guy probably should be knocking on the door of a 99 as a receiver considering that he broke the receptions record last year he smashed he murdered it i would say if i were to add a fifth guy to the 99 club he probably would be number one on my list he's been very consistent since he's been in the league he's the highest played paid receiver that's a guy that i think should definitely be on the 99 uh list as well Either way, um, that's the list. Uh, if you guys want to see these videos as the Madden uh, news drops, if you want to see me bring out uh, my own take on them, let me know in the comments section with the like button and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching Madden My Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.